Alright, here is the uh, last step of the Guimon, I think, Guimon, whatever method. And uh, it's just permutation. So I'll go in order. I guess there's only real five that you need um, to do, or algorithms you need to know. Um, but then you can like do it from other steps, or not other steps, other angles, which would add, which is really helpful. Um, so here's the first one. I'll do my setup now. There's a lot of different ways to do this. It's just switching these back and forth. Um, so this is right. The whole first layer is right, and it's just switching this back and forth. So if you know the uh, Friedrich or Friedrich method, um, you can easily just find something that switches just the corners, like the T permutation. That works. Or uh, it's either L or J. That works. Um, the meth the one I use and Eric uses on his website or gives is uh, it's pretty fast. I guess works good. So you, um, here it is. You hold it so the ones you want to change is on the right side. I don't know why it's showing you on. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, I was just looking at my video camera and I think I did everything opposite wrong because it hates me. Anyways, so we do R, U2, R prime, U prime, R, U2, L prime, U, R prime, U prime, L. I think. So that's real done. I totally just messed it up. Okay, so let's just do that again, just to make sure. So R U two R prime U R U two L prime U R U prime L. So it's pretty. Uh, it's not real complicated. I mean, just, you just may have to learn it and keep practicing it. That's ridiculous. Right. So the last thing I just did was the right one. I can't answer right now, sorry. No. I apologize. Okay, so the second one is also one you could use the uh, Frederick method the Frederick nah, whatever that method on um, yeah I'm not a good teacher so here's the one that Eric um, no. these two corners are right and these two are wrong they need to be switched around it'd be just like that opposite but um here's the one that Eric Eric says, and I'll show you what I do. So here's what Eric says to do. F2, U prime, R, U prime, R prime, U, F2, U, R, U, R prime. I guess that's pretty good. Um, here's the one I do. It it just works for me because I memorize it. It looks exact. It's if you look on a normal Rubik's cube, I don't know what it's called, but you switch these two corners and you switch these two edges. That's the one I do. Um, you could also do like an end permutation if you know those. That wouldn't be bad. Okay, moving on to the next one. Okay, this one, you can do it with different colors. They don't have to be the same colors. Um, but it's if these two are right, or like, say this is this could be orange. It's just if there's a bar right here and a bar right here, and everything else is wrong, um, then here's what you do. You do R2, U, 
hard to u2 y or to the left r2 u r2 so it's pretty simple um, I'll show you one other like say see there's two bars here these are not right there's two or there's a bar here a bar here and then these are all wrong so we're gonna do r2 u r2 u2 r2 u r2 so the same algorithm move that I just showed you a second ago and then we just do u2 at the end because they were orange and red or pink and red because it's an east gene and I need to get new stickers okay um fourth one it's if you have a bar right here and then the color right well you can do any color I guess it doesn't matter it's just if you have only one bar nothing else is right just one bar and then if you have this it really helps in the front left up corner and it's probably opposite for my camera because it doesn't like me so here it goes but you um hold it in the f or this is the front let me do l d prime l f2 l prime d l prime so it, i guess it's not too tough let's do that again though L prime or not L prime L D prime L F two L prime D L prime. So it's not the hardest thing in the world to do. Alright, we have one more one more to do. It's probably the easiest one, it's only three moves. Alright, and it's if um none of these are connected, or like none have any bars, like you don't see any bars horizontal bars at least so we just make vertical bars with all of them and so we do but there's no horizontal bars so we do r2 r2 we can do it with any side though so r2 f2 r2 and it's done it's three moves it's not hard r2 f2 r2 and that's it um well that's the end of the uh fourth step and the whole method. I might go back and add some more algorithms to the second step and maybe the last step because there's more well there's not more that's all you need to know to actually do it but there's like different angles and stuff so that's it that's about it and I uh, hope that helps you I don't know if it just made you more confused or what but uh that's it, and, uh, yeah, maybe you'll learn it and become a master of the 2x2 two two sometime soon. Goodbye.